authority. And he said, and with, with the soldiers that are under my authority, I can tell those soldiers to go, and they go, and I can tell those soldiers to come, and they'll come. So, so in other words, he said, Jesus, I know how it works because I'm someone that's in authority. He said, when I tell these soldiers to go, they go, not because they're hearing me, but because they're hearing Caesar. When I tell these soldiers to come, they come, not because they're hearing me, but because they're hearing Caesar. It's not necessarily that they're responding to my authority, but they're responding to the authority that was given to me by someone that's over us all. Does that make sense? Jesus said, Jesus says, I, even, Je even Jesus, the, the man who brings people back to life, he says, even I did not come on my own authority. I'm able to perform the miracles that I, I can. I'm able to bring people from the dead. I'm able to answer your prayers, turn water into wine, walk on water, do all this Jesus stuff. Not because of me, but because the authority that I'm under. He said, I come and I speak from the king back at headquarters. And whatever he tells me to say, I say it. He said, in other words, I'm an extension of heaven and speaking things in the earth. And heaven is backing me up. In other words, Jesus is saying, because I'm a citizen of heaven, because I have access to the kingdom, I can boldly confess with my tongue, mountain move, and it moves. In other words, I have rights, and I have a say-so. You're living with the conditions you've been living with because you are convinced that you don't have a say-so, that you have no rights. You see, you have to understand that this Roman soldier was not a godly man, but he looked at Jesus, and he says, you know what, this, this guy, ah, I don't get how he's doing it, but I can tell this man, Jesus, is tapping into something greater than him. And he says, and if it will work on these people, it will work on my, it will work on my soldier. I'm sorry, it will work on my servant. So Jesus, you don't even, you, I know how it works. You don't even have to come to my house. You can just say, be healed, and, and they will be healed. The soldier knew how it worked. He said, listen, you don't have to go through all this religious activity. You, you, you don't, you listen, if you really have authority, if you really have authority, you can, you can give the command and, it, they, and they will go. You can give the command and they will be healed. I know, again, I've been raised in the church all my life. We, we come here and we kind of do the hocus pocus and we turn ourselves around and we think that's what's going to move the hand of God. But the fact is, is you have authority because you're a child of God. And if you would just speak with life and death in your tongue and the power, listen, I'm telling you, you can make mountains move in your life. You can bring about things that have never been brought about. If you are really under authority, I can, listen, I can go into a meeting and I realize that I'm under an authority that perhaps you're not and I can speak with boldness and I'm not accessing the power of Brad. I'm accessing the power that's in Brad, the greater authority. I'm tapping into something else and it's giving me authority here on earth. A couple nights ago, I was, uh, I been praying in the middle of the night, praying for many of you, praying for a lot of you. Yes, si, senor. And last night, no, no, the night before, my alarm goes off, and I kind of snoozed it. Uh, I hung it up. <laughs> uh, and you know what woke me up out of bed? I kid you not. It was either, it was either a woman or it was a child. It was something, and they either... They either laughed or they, they either laughed or they cried. And it woke me up. Jordan made me think about you. It woke me up. So in, in my night, in my sleep, it woke me, it woke me up and it was so loud, it woke me up that I immediately walked down the hallway to see if the boys were crying or if they had a bad dream or something. So I go into prayer. And I say, and I say, in Jesus' name, in other words, in the authority that I have because I have access to the kingdom because Jesus is my Lord he is my God we have a relationship I'm tapping into a greater power in Jesus name devil I rebuke you I'm tapping into a greater power for the last seven weeks we've been talking about kingdom keys and I'm going to wrap it up by saying this if you are convinced that you are living the life and you are settling for a life because that's just the way it is that is wrong, that is a lie you do not have to settle 
You do not have to settle. You do not have to be the man with the withered hand stuck over in the corner and accepting life the way it is. You don't have to be the woman with a b- doubled over and accepting the life the way it is. We have access to heaven. We have access to the kingdom. And you do not have, I said this last week, many of you are suffering your way through life. Not me. I'm abounding my way through life. And even when I fall and I break my arm, Twilight, I'm still abounding my way through life. God, we love you. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for the truth. We thank you for access to the kingdom. We thank you for that, that we don't that we have say so, that we have rights and, and we have control and, and we, we can govern our life. We don't just have to accept it for the way it is. God, give us boldness, give us courage that we can walk into our problems and say, I'm gonna tap into something that's greater than me. And in Jesus' name, be removed. In Jesus' name, be healed. I cast you out in Jesus' name. God, we are your people. We are your extension. So let us live a life of abundance. Let us abound through life. Let Put a smile on our face. Give us boldness. Give us courage as we go out and we represent the kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless. We'll see you Wednesday. We'll see you next Sunday. Thank you.